All right, guys, let's just get right to it. Never again will you ever see on eBay a collection like this. I'm not gonna say because they're, the collections are not out there, but because they are out there, but guys just don't film their persimmon collections like I do. There's a few guys that are uh, active and talk about their collections, but not a lot. And I've, the reason why I'm doing this, I did, I did a video a few years ago, um, and a lot of these that you see right now are, are ones that I picked up over like the last two and a half years from that infamous March 2020 period we're all familiar with. Um, some of them you might have seen, but a lot of these are new and all of them are absolutely top tier. So I wanna just demonstrate and show them. I got a lot of guys, when you see, see my videos, you've just seen some of my videos where I go and hit. A lot of guys say, oh, show me some close-ups. But this is, so this is the video. I'm gonna start with one I hit a couple days ago. And uh, I got this club about a year ago from an Australian PGA retired guy, Paul Barnsley. Super nice guy who ends up small world. He's a friend, he's very good friends with one of my best friends. Um, lives in Paul lives in Florida now. We just moved from Connecticut. And he, he got this club from Wood Brothers in 1993. And it is absolutely one of the best clubs I've ever hit. As you can see, it's, it's got a, like an M85 type head shape, really nice grain, and it's in excellent condition. He gamed this and he said that this is probably the best persimmon driver, uh, Wood Brothers driver that he's ever hit. I think he had about five or six of them. And he gamed this and he said it was incredibly solid. It's got an X100 shaft. Um, it's a club is 44 inches. I think Paul was probably average to tall, tall height, but, uh, I guess he liked a, a 44 inch driver, um, which is nice because it adds a little more weight when you're swinging it. Um, it's about a D four and I hit this the other day and it's unbelievable. I love it. It's in really nice shape. As you can see the Texas Wood Brothers sole plate. Everyone's familiar with. I know that the uh, the camera is zooming in this little area. That's why I got the club here. Hope you can see the grain. It's a nice club, really nice. One of my favorites. I'm gonna I'm gonna show probably close to ten clubs. Some of them I'll talk about. Some of them I'm just gonna quickly show. But here's a 945 Iomatic um, from 1954. I got this in original condition, and it was in really nice condition. But Dave Wood refinished this about a year and a half ago for me, um, and he did an exquisite job on this club it's probably one of the nicest clubs i've ever seen and the condition right now obviously refinished is he saved the neck number which is really nice uh the tommy armor on the top there the grain is really nice it's perfect um this is the original shaft which is in incredible condition he reset the whole club pretty much it's pretty much like a rebuilt 945 and this is a custom stain color. And Dave and I had a good time in the process while he worked in this club. It took him about two months to work on it and finish it. I love it. Thanks, Dave. Really nice. You can see the sole plate. It's like, that is what you call a sweep back sole plate. Really nice club. And I actually went to the range with it very carefully and hit a few. And it's absolutely amazing. Here's another club I just recently got about two years ago. It's a wood brothers australian you don't see too many of these and this particular one was made for steve elkington in in around 1985. Um, dave wood told me this was a prototype he built for steve and steve hit this a lot it's, i believe it doesn't have a shaft band but i'm pretty sure it's an x100 not sure if it's the original shaft charlie wood i talked to recently said he didn't think it was original but it's got a screw in the bore so it could be beautiful golf club Wood Brothers Australian. I believe Steve Elkington had a few of these made. Another one of my friend collectors, John Kendall in Texas, has one just like this. And here is a beautiful club that I got uh, a couple years ago in the spring of 2020. Um, Dave Wood had refinished this club and put it on eBay, and I, I won the auction. This club was played by a guy named Barry Jekyll, who was a PGA Tour player. He used it a few years. I've hit this quite often, and it's got a couple little couple little imperfections now on the poly on the bottom, because I've probably hit 100 to 200 shots with this club, but it's still in really nice refinished condition, still pristine. I just can't stop from hitting it, because I love it. 
Now here's another Wood Brothers. Um, it's very unique. It's got an aluminum piece in the middle of the insert. If you guys can see me, I'm not sure if you can see me. But seeing the clubs is more important. It's got a black fiber, black fiber, aluminum piece, and then fiber on the top. And it's got the WB stamp on the top. Really nice grain. It's in this big piece of black carbon, which is natural to the wood, as you can see there. It really means it came from a very old tree, probably in the bottom section. It's a really hard wood. It's got the Texas sole plate on the bottom. Really worn out. Whoever played this club probably 25 years ago really used it a lot, but it's in excellent condition. Not sure if it was refinished. I'm kind of thinking it was. I like to hit it because it actually has a fairly light shaft. It's a, a um, Dynamic Gold Plus, which is, I think it's a 105 gram shaft. So I can really swing this with some good speed and really get it out there. This is a solid club. Love it. Here's something real special too. 1984 Wood Brothers, one of the original Texans made. Um, I bought it from the original owner who ordered it in 1984. As you can see, some of, the, some of the writing is a little different looking than the older models, the newer models actually. The font um, was actually handmade. That wasn't stamped, that's handmade from Dave Wood. And these are kind of rare, especially in this condition. This club is pristine. I've hit it a few times, but I really didn't want to um, because it's absolutely mint. I was afraid to make some marks on it, but I've kept it mint. Beautiful club. And it's got an, a unique shaft, which is a union shaft. I never really heard of that. Dave said that he promoted the shaft. It's uh, made by um, a company called Union, and I believe this shaft was designed by McGregor. Super golf club. Here's a really nice M85 that I acquired from a collection from a gentleman from Ohio that passed away and his grandson was selling a lot of the collection. This is a really super nice M85 with a 1985 dynamic gold shaft. So it was reshafted. It's got gorgeous grain. I've hit this a couple times. Really nice M85. And I'm gonna go back to something one of my favorite clubs in my collection. This is a 693 that I acquired that belonged and was played by Tom Kite in the early 80s and he used it for about five years. He used this in 84 when he almost won the Masters. And about a month prior to that at Durrell, he did win the, the uh, Durrell tournament beating Jack Nicklaus with this club in his bag. Pretty neat 693. Let's see what else I can show you guys. Oh yeah, this is something special. This will be the last club on this videotape today. Um, I acquired this from a great guy named Chris Bess and his father was Scott Bess, Cleveland Classic sales rep on tour. He played himself on tour for about five years in the 70s. And uh, this club was made for Ben Crenshaw. It's a Ben Crenshaw model, which was a retail model, but this particular one was um, in Scott Bess's collection and it was made for Ben Crenshaw. I've hit it a couple of times. It's got an interesting shaft on it, which I've never seen before until I acquired it. It's, it's made by Easton. It's a composite shaft. And I, I think it's about 105 grams and it's X-Flex. It doesn't feel like an X, it's probably more like a stiff, but it's a composite shaft. And um, hitting it, it feels amazing. Real nice golf club in excellent condition. Really nice grain. As you can see sweet golf club and i will show you guys another special club i don't know whether this was in my my previous video i made a couple years ago but this is a wood brothers masters um it was made in the early i think it was 93 dave wood made this for augusta national and it was sold in the pro shop during the masters beautiful club it's in a mint condition I think I made one swing with this about five years ago. Very careful, I put some tape on the face. But as you can see, it's got a beautiful blonde finish. Beautiful green fiber insert, which Seve Ballesteros loved this particular insert and had a couple Wood Brothers clubs with the same insert. I think I'll keep this one forever. It's got the, the, the uh, WB stamp on the, on the back here. Beautiful golf club. 
So just wanted to update you guys with my collection and I, I've hit a, a lot of these and a lot of people, you know, asking, can you send some, you know, when you do the videos, can you provide some close-ups? So this is the video that I wanted to show some great detail of some of my collection. Thanks for watching. Take care.